good morning and happy July 18th. Thank you for checking in on our P4 cross country excursion extravaganza. So today we are in Joshua Tree Lake uh, Campground, which is directly across the street from Joshua Tree National Park. I just woke up, uh, rolled out of bed as you could tell by this appearance. Um, and I wanted to kind of get a quick sunrise shot. Uh, sunrise over here, it's about 5 40 in the morning. Uh, still trying to get used to like the three hour time differential, which is why I was able to wake up this early without an alarm. Um, we had a really good drive yesterday and um, I was super proud of the P4 RV because it survived 120 degree weather, crazy inclines throughout the deserts, and uh, it was luckily only from, uh, from where we were, it was only really a three and a half four hour drive <clears throat> however it was it was a long three and a half four hour drive with that heat so we drove through the desert we did basically a roundabout since you can't cut through Joshua Tree National Park we did like a roundabout around it so um, so yeah so like I said we were in the car for about three and a half four hours yesterday but yesterday was probably one of the best days of our trip so far. We got super lucky and um, were able to find some really amazing things for the kids that they absolutely loved. So in, in Phoenix, we wound up finding the Odyssey Aquarium and they had a secondary exhibit um, that was kind of a rolling exhibit for Titanic artifacts. So anyone that knows our kids knows that that is literally like hitting two home runs pitch after pitch, if I can come up with any weird analogy. But it was just the most amazing day. As a mom, I literally was giddy. I almost got to tears just seeing them really excited. Uh, it was just one of those things that's very difficult because our kids are totally different personalities. So to find something that they both absolutely love and can get excited and like squeal like, oh my God, was just one of those like proud mama moments if I could say it any other way. So we went to the Odyssey Aquarium first and it was really great. They took a lot of initiatives um, to you know be clean, be sanitary, be spaced apart. Um, we did see a ton and my hands are legitimately as dry as they possibly can because we were sanitizing every four steps um so it was actually really silly cute and this is unnecessary information but it was really silly cute because every one of the sanitizing um bottles they had like a little penguin so kind of looked like penguin poop coming out but it was silly we all got a giggle out of it so um so yeah so we went there we did a bunch of the uh walk arounds we got a chance to touch some stingrays we got to see all these different sharks and all this all these different uh sea life creatures and a couple animals like saw some sloths and stuff like that which is kind of silly but that was fun and then we did the walk through um, for the Titanic exhibit and as you walk in they um, give you a boarding pass so you're like one of the people on the ship and throughout the exhibit you have to see if your name is kind of mentioned as surviving or as lost at sea so that was silly fun um, Derek and I both survived both of the kids unfortunately didn't go first class so didn't make it um but it was really fun we got a kick out of that and uh the gift shops of course we uh went to a really funky place for lunch which we weren't going to but like i said the kids were super good and i was on my mama cloud nine at the point at that point so we went to a really funky uh restaurant in the same plaza it's called pangea uh and it was really silly they had like mock dinosaur fights and it was just it was really funny. Um, food was really good and it was just nice to kind of mix the cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner to having one day out here and there. So it was really good. We're trying really hard. Um, besides the in and out burger, we're trying hard to kind of conserve not only on the cost, but eating healthier while we're on this trip because it is super easy to be like, I'm, I'm fried. I'm exhausted. We're doing all this stuff. Let's just pick up McDonald's. Let's just pick up like Burger King, whatever it is. So all of the meals have been prepped so it's just a matter of making sure they're you know in the crock pot in the instant pot so we don't kind of get lazy and just you know eat takeout or 
order dominoes or something. So, um, so we've been really good with that, but there is some times that you need to also treat. So yesterday was our treat eating at Pangea. Today, um, our plan is um, we are doing Joshua Tree. We're going to try and get there right at like 7 so that this way we can miss the crazy times. Uh, the gates are open 24 hours so we're thinking that we're just going to do a quick hike in there and uh, kind of do a drive through as well. And uh, yeah, I guess it just depends on the terrain since I've never been here, neither is Derek. Um, we're basing it on kind of how the terrain of the area works. So I'm going to wake up the kids in a little bit. I'm hoping that that sunrise comes over that mountain in a minute so I can catch some really cool pics. And then I'm going to go in, wake up the family and get this day and this party started. So I'm going to do a 360 and um, on our way, um, sorry, I meant to mention, today we are on our way to San Diego. So after we hit up Joshua Tree National Park across the street, which is those beautiful, amazing mountains over there, that's what starts it. So we're going to go check out some Joshua trees. Um, it's uh, two deserts in there. So it's a Colorado desert and the Mojave desert merge into this national park. So I'd like to kind of see those both. Um, but again, it depends on how much time that we have in there before it gets crowded and the terrain is also important. But um, I'm going to do the 360 in a moment. Um, like I mentioned today, we're going to be heading to um, to San Diego. We're going to be spending two days there. So that I'm kind of excited about. So we're not like stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. We get a chance to spend two nights there and really explore San Diego. We have a car that we're going to go pick up so that this way we can see the ocean and uh, stay tuned for that because I'm sure that recap will be funny. Um, but let me do the 360 so that this way everyone can kind of um, get moving with their days and you'll see this afternoon I'll post the pictures that we took yesterday of driving and stopping and all of the uh, epic mommy finds yesterday with those two the museum and the exhibit so thank you for watching I'm gonna cut out after the 360 have a great day today